Hello, my name is Chris Boyke, Senior Solutions Consultant with Commerce Tools, and I'll be talking to you today about how to go headless without losing your mind, or how to choose a front-end solution for your headless commerce platform. I'm going to cover three main topics, why headless commerce, the different front-end approaches, and ultimately, how to decide on a front-end. So first of all, why headless commerce? In a nutshell, it's all about the customer experience. Legacy commerce platforms had presentation layer technology tightly embedded into the commerce platform itself, and this tended to result in a commodity experience, with one website having the look and feel of pretty much any other. The experience layer was controlled by IT, mainly for the purpose of exposing commerce data and functionality to the user, and so it was difficult to differentiate. With the focus moving to the customer experience, you have a different set of requirements. Marketers and site merchandisers want to be in control and build emotionally engaging experiences. The better the customer experience, the more customers will enjoy interacting with your brand, ultimately leading to higher margins. The primary prerequisite for all of this is to decouple the presentation layer from the commerce engine itself, and thus, headless commerce. Another key driver for Headless is the proliferation of customer touch points. Not confined to traditional desktop web, customers want to shop and interact with your brand across a wide variety of touch points, such as mobile apps, in-store kiosks, wearables, social shopping, voice, etc. Some examples of unique ways our customers are adopting non-traditional touch points include Audi, who's built commerce right into their in-dash systems to enable optional features in their highly innovative e-tron vehicles. And we work with a bakery supply company who's enabling voice commerce so that chefs can place orders right from the kitchen via voice, a real convenience when your hands are covered in flour. Commerce Tools is the pioneer in headless API-first commerce. We started building a headless commerce platform because our founder and CEO, Dirk Herrig foresaw that experiences would become front and center in the new commerce landscape, and a headless, API-driven platform would be the best way to consistently enable rich experiences across a wide variety of touch points. So now, let's take a look at the different front-end approaches. At a high level, there are three broad categories of front-end solutions. There's the digital experience platform, which has the richest set of functionality and business user tools. Typically, these solutions combine page rendering and layout management with powerful content management and personalization capabilities, and may include advanced features such as digital asset management and A-B testing. Frontend as a service is a somewhat newer category, which provides page rendering and layout management, and secondarily, some lightweight content management and possibly digital asset management as well. And then there's the custom build approach, having front-end developers build out your rendering layer using popular frameworks such as Node.js and React, or developing front-ends unique to different touch points, one for the web, another for mobile apps, etc. Let's take a closer look at each of these three approaches. The DXP suite contains a comprehensive set of functionality with business user tooling to put merchandisers and marketers in control. Tools such as what you see is what you get layout management give business users an exact look at what their commerce site will look like across a variety of device types. Many of these DXP solutions evolved from the content management space, so they include comprehensive content management tools enabling business users to author a wide variety of content types to enrich the web experience and powerful workflow tools to drive approval processes. These solutions may include machine learning powered personalization capabilities, tools for managing digital assets such as images and video, and other advanced capabilities such as A-B testing. Since these suites come pre-built, you have the opportunity to get to market quickly. Some things to consider, some of these solutions have evolved from older content management systems, so make sure you look under the hood to ensure there's a good technology fit with the rest of your IT infrastructure. And understand that with the suite approach, it may be more difficult to swap out specific components if you decide to pursue a best-of-breed approach later on. And finally, some solutions are deployed as software as a service, 
while others might be on-premise or offered in a managed services model. So make sure the deployment model fits with your IT standards. The next category is front end as a service. This is a newer category. There aren't as many players in this space yet, but we expect to see a lot of growth here over the next couple of years. These solutions take care of hosting and managing your page rendering layer and offer some lightweight business user tooling and content management. They're going to take a little more time to implement than the full DXP, and they're not going to have the rich set of business user tools that a full DXP would have. These solutions provide a front-end framework that your developers can work in, but don't provide all of the flexibility of a fully custom front-end. A custom front-end gives you maximum flexibility in terms of building any user experience across any channel. You have a wide range of choices in terms of development languages and frameworks, and you can build experiences for any device type. Now, with custom front ends, of course, you're not going to have any business user tools unless you build your own, and there's going to be more development effort and potentially a longer time to market than with the other approaches. If you're choosing the custom front end solution, you should strongly consider a headless content management system as well. These solutions provide the content management and asset management capabilities that your business users will be looking for, and they integrate easily with either the custom front end or the front end as a service options. The headless content management systems tend to be deployed as software as a service, so they're fast and easy to deploy and are often built around an API first modern technology architecture. Now, of course, being headless, these solutions don't typically have built in page rendering so you'll still need a front end. To summarize, a headless commerce platform means that you have the flexibility to meet your customers at any and all relevant touch points, and you can innovate user experiences at your own pace. When choosing a front end, you need to find the right mix of business and technical capabilities to suit your particular business needs. If you need help deciding, contact us or one of our system integrator partners. Some resources to help you learn more about front-end options include our Commerce Tools Integration Marketplace. This is a great place to look at the wide range of solutions available, and it's being updated constantly as new partners come on board. And on our website, you can also find a directory of our certified system integration partners. I hope you found this presentation informative, and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact me. Thank you.